What would you, I mean, are there comments that you would specifically address to an African Yes, public? yes, there are. So, um, we are an advocacy, one, one is an advocacy organization of people in developed countries who care about extreme poverty. And um, that can be tricky sometimes because we try to speak about, to, uh, to a broad audience and put pressure on and, and build up uh, heat on politicians to do the right thing, to put in place the right policies and, where appropriate, uh, support greater resources. Uh, we don't pretend to speak for Africans. We can't. It would be inappropriate for us to, which is why listening to Africans is extremely important. And that's the purpose of our visit this time, to sort of see what lessons there are to learn that we can report back on, listen to African voices so we can be better, uh, we can be more effective advocates. That's Could the you purpose. tell me an example of, like, some of the Africans that you've spoken to, are there individuals that have really stood out to you? That well, have... so here's, here's the thing I want to say in Rwanda, just about this trip in particular. Uh, much has been said about President Kagame, and I met with him myself in November when I was here, and he's a very impressive man. What I think has our entire delegation dazzled is a, the, the quality of leadership at the working level. And from, from, from the nurses at this hospital, uh, to the leaders at this hospital, to the ministers and the mayors, uh, I, 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 it's not an overstatement to say we are dazzled by the quality of leadership. And, and that's one of our messages as well, is that it's not appropriate to impose uh, we, we may think we have the answers in the United States, but an important part of our advocacy is to say we want to support African leadership uh, that's working. I think I'm late for my bus. Grab your bus. Sorry, guys. Right, Thanks for your time.